Hey everyone, it's Shobit, and today we'll be talking about the mistakes that mid-career professionals make when transitioning into product management. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so the number one mistake that I've seen mid-career professionals make when they transition into product management is to apply to two junior level roles. So I remember the story of you know one of my clients who I helped. Um, he came to me and this person had started companies, ran agencies, ran sales teams, built products, all these things. And he said, um, I want to transition into product management and I'm willing to take an APM role, associate product manager role, if that's what it takes to get started. And I was shocked. I was completely shocked. Because look, here's this person with all this relevant product management experience, and they're lo- aiming so low. They are, they're going for associate product manager roles. Why? Why is that? Because they feel that if they have not held the title, That is all they can achieve. And look, I see the story repeated on multiple fronts. Many times people coming in, they they start working with me. They say, show with PM, APM, it's fine. I can take a $150,000 pay cut, no problem. And I keep saying, not on my watch. You're never going to take that pay cut on my watch. You're going to get the role that you deserve and you're going to raise your level of ambition. Because even if you've not had a product management title, You've been probably doing all these activities, the work of a product manager. Maybe not everything, but you've been working with stakeholders. You're defining requirements. You're shipping product. All these things that ultimately make you the the awesome product manager. Then I also see people on the other side where they took a role that was well below their level. They took a pay cut and now they are absolutely miserable because not just they're suffering financially, but they're not getting the satisfaction of really making impact. I mean, they, they question, why did they take this role in the first place? They, every day they feel undervalued. They feel that people who are 10 years younger than them have a bigger role that they have. And it, it generates a sense of resentment. This generates the sense of, I don't want to go to work on, on Sunday uh, evening. And then Monday morning, just that alarm, they keep snoozing it. It happens over and over again. So one of the first huge mistakes that mid-career professionals who've had a lot of experience they make is that they aim too low and they end up taking a role that is well below the level that they deserve to be. Next mistake, not taking advantage of the domain experience that you have. Look, when you think of product management job postings and you look at them and everything that they want from you, one of the huge things that you can add as value is your domain experience. Let's say you've been in marketing technology for all your life. Just like Samir was. Samir is one of our one of the clients who worked with me to transition into his first product role. Since then he's already gotten promoted and doing really well. But when he transitioned, like a huge part was let's aim towards those roles that take advantage of all this domain experience that you have had all these years when you've been a sales engineer, an engineer, and like all these different things. And that was very intentionally, you know, focusing on the things where he could add maximum value and make up for the skills that he didn't have yet. Now, come come that back to or bring that back to many mid-career professionals, they're applying to like three, 500 jobs, three to 500 jobs over the course of a few months because their strategy is not domain specific. Their strategy is open up LinkedIn. Okay, I see 15 jobs. I'm going to submit 15 resumes today. Submit, 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 submit. I'm done. Cool, wait for the next day. And what I when I dig in with them, it's basically, yeah, I applied to 300 jobs. I heard back from three. I interviewed at one and it didn't go any further. No wonder. All your domain experience that you've built all these years, 
and and look you have to be creative about what domain experience means and you know more about that when you book a call with us but uh you 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 have to take advantage of that otherwise you're just another person applying and and when you take this vanilla strategy strategy quote unquote you get vanilla results so you need a better strategy that takes advantage of your domain experience to help you land into product management next mistake i've seen in this transition is that they go into this transition half heartedly what that means is that they have one foot in one boat and one foot in another in the sense of they want to move into product management so they are applying but at the same time also applying for a higher level role in the same profession or in the same line let's say a sales engineer also applying to sales engineer manager roles and product manager roles guess where they're going to go sales engineer manager because it's always easy to switch to to stick to where you are now what most people will tell you is you have to diversify you know you got to be safe you can't just go after one thing and and just like not do other things that's the poor strategy no that is exactly the strategy that you need to go after is to single handedly focus on that one transition that will get you what you need because when you try multiple things you basically get whatever is the easiest to do and the easiest to do is always to stick to your current profession and the cost that you'll bear it will show up in a few years when you've continue to spend spend more and more time in a profession that you're not excited to be in you built in more expertise and now it's even harder for you to transition out and that dream that you had the desire that you had of hey i'm going to become this amazing product manager that never came to be because you never single focused on it that's why there's this this term of burn the bridges or burn the boats uh different people call it different way actually burning the bridges is a bad idea it's burning the boats and it goes back to some story somewhere i don't remember but the idea was when they went to war they took the boats they went to the island whatever place they were going to fight and then they burnt the boats so they had no way of retreating back they had to move forward and that's the approach you got to take with product management is burn the boats and go find your dream role because you deserve it your family deserves it you deserve that life that income that satisfaction of having delivered amazing products and the the biggest strategy is biggest mistake is to not commit enough to that transition common mistake mis career professionals make is that they don't craft a compelling story you have to convince me i am the hiring manager you have to convince me and the thing that is going to make a difference between seven people who want to transition into this role is the story that they tell the story that they tell you know the re- the way they piece together all the different experiences and have a narrative which inspires me which makes me believe that yes they have some gaps but they can be this amazing product manager and oh me as a hiring manager i want to take them on because i believe in them i believe that they have the potential i believe they have demonstrated it over and over again and i know they have gaps but i'm willing to go bad for them that's the level you need to get to when you're transitioning mid career into product management so look you, you can certainly hope that the hiring manager will connect the dots you can certainly hope that's going to happen but that's most likely not going to happen and what will happen is you'll be one more resume that showed up or one more person who never made an impression on them and so they said no i would rather just go with someone with at least some product management experience so not having that compelling story that paints the picture of look i've been in program management all these while but look here's all the product ideas i've brought to bear here's here's everything that i've done to move the product forward like all those things connected despite not having had the title if that doesn't show up you don't get the next interview you maybe become a finalist and you never land the job and you end up moving to another role that's just purely in the same line in the next step forward very common mistake they give up too soon look everybody who who works with us goes through phases 
they initially, they don't know what the hell they're doing, especially if they're transitioning into product management. Then they start to apply, they get rejections, fine tune their applications, their resume, where they're applying, cool. They start to get interviews, then they start to get second interviews. And then now they have so many interviews, they're just not landing all the way till now they have multiple offers. Now this process, it doesn't happen overnight. It might take weeks, it might take many months. The biggest challenge is when you take all these rejections and you focus on the rejections and you focus on all the things that didn't work out and then you start to believe that that's your reality forever. And so you give up right when you're about to strike gold, right when you're about to land that role. I mean, I've seen product people who transition into PM la take a few weeks, take two months, take four months, take six months, take nine months. Success happened for those that just stayed committed, that, that were like, I'm going to make it happen. I don't care. I'm gonna, and I'm going to pay the cost that it requires. I'm going to take the effort that it requires. I'm going to go out and, and keep recruiting so many times because you don't know what's, you don't know what's going to be, or you don't know when success is going to strike, but success will happen long as you don't give up too soon. So mistake I see mid-career professionals make is they give up too soon. They say, hey, let me just start applying to like my, this, uh, you know, one level above in my, this thing, or I just stay in my job, stay miserable, whatever. Giving up too soon is one of the biggest mistakes that I see mid-career professionals make. The last, but probably one of the most crucial mistake I see people make in their transition is they don't have the feedback or the mentorship that they deserve. So this is something like this transition into product management is something that we have figured out over and over and over and over and over again. Now, your choice at that point, you know, when you are going through this transition is, do you want to take advantage of everything that's already been figured out? Or are you just going to take this problem and make it much worse for yourself by figuring it out on their own, on your own, not taking advantage of the feedback, the mentorship, the lessons that are readily available for you to take and apply. In the sense, do you want to struggle more than it's necessary? But that's a decision that I've seen people make over and over again for whatever reason, for saving money in the short term, for hey, maybe I can just figure it out by myself, like sort of that false sense of hope. And look, what I've seen often is they don't figure it out. I mean, I've had uh, people who I spoke to a year and a half ago, two years ago, and what they did was, yeah, Shobit, I'm going to figure it out by myself. And a year and a half, and a year and a half later, I ran into them into a, a product management conference, virtually or real. And I was like, oh, so how's the transition going? I'm still trying, you know, I have this interview next week with this company and it feels like I'm getting really close. And then some of them have transitioned into roles that are well below where they could have been, where they are being paid about half as much as they could have been making, taking a huge step back in their career and wondering why they are miserable, wondering why they, f they feel that this is, this is not where they're supposed to be, that this profession's not great. So everything that you can do to arm yourself to get the feedback and the mentorship that you need, do it. Because trying to figure it out by yourself is one of the most expensive things you can do. You're losing money, you're losing time, you're losing years out of your precious career. And that is something I would never tell anyone to do. Okay, so you heard the common mistakes that mid-career professionals make when transitioning into product management. Now look, very simple, you have a choice. You can choose to take our help in figuring out exactly what is lacking in your, in your strategy to transition into product management. We'll, we'll do a call with you 100% free. My team will talk to you on a breakthrough session where we're going to look through your career, figure out what's not working, figure out what you want, and then help you build a step-by-step -step plan. 
And look, sometimes we can help you in that, in which case we'll tell you exactly what that looks like. And many times we can't, in which case we'll just point you to the right resources uh, for, for you to go forward. Either way, you gain clarity and huge value out of this call. So use the link, which will be at the bottom of this video to book the time with, the, with my team. And I apologize in advance if we are booked out for a week to two in advance because that that happens often so you can check back or you can just book it in in advance they'll be sometimes available uh, always and we look forward to speaking with you don't let this opportunity go because look you might never see this video again you'll forget who the hell showbit is or what intentional product manager is so take this time to book it now before you go back into trying to figure it out on your own and then lose years and years of your precious career talk to you soon